Hello everyone, so today I thought I'd do a video on feather pecking and bullying and some ways to prevent it. So one of the ways that you can help prevent um, feather pecking and bullying is to give them distractions. So these can include just scattering treats like all over so it's not concentrated in one spot or things like hanging grapes up or cabbage, spring greens, things like that. Um, I put mine quite high because the bantams normally go on the top and of the perch and bend down and eat them but also it keeps um, Mavis at distracted because she's the big one so she's the um, the feather pecking one mainly she does the most that's not feather pecking on her chest that's a, a mixture of broodiness and molting um, Queenie trying to reach and the bantams can fly up to there so that's one way and then um, other ways include I, I know I'm a hypocrite because I have Mavis in here but I recommend not putting bantams and big chickens together because that does lead to more feather pecking and things um, but the reason I did so was because those two were an established pair at the time that Mavis was um, put in our garden because if you may not know she wasn't planned um, someone found her and assumed she was ours and just put her in our garden and we took her on because we located the person um, whose chicken it was because my dad was actually friends with him but he didn't want it back so we kept her um, so yeah you could hang things up and give them distractions and lots of treats and also if feather pecking does occur some things you can do about it is one of them is this which is um, Johnson's poultry anti-peck which you put on areas that the chickens are pecking um, and then it tastes really horrible so they choose not to peck again um, and then there's this wound spray that is violet coloured because um, because the chickens are distracted by the colour and um, they don't go for it whereas if there's red on a chicken then that's what the chickens will go for when they're pecking them so that's like just something you can do if the damage has already happened but remember to keep distractions in your pen um, I'm actually going to lower those grapes because I think they're a bit high for them today because um, normally I put them on that that's why the string's there so yeah, and also have different levels. That's something I found that's really helpful. Like in here we have that perch, <clears throat> that one. They can go on top of there, their roofed area, and on top of the coop. Because, <clears throat> especially with different sized chickens, they need somewhere to get away, especially if one of them is being bullied or um, their feathers are being pecked out. So yeah, remember to have levels, distractions, like that and ensure that you have things like this on hand just in case so yeah thank you for watching please subscribe if you want to carry on watching my videos and you'll get notified when i do post and please like the video thank you for watching bye